Right guys, welcome back to another vlog. It's March, it's Friday, I think it's the, is it the 8th or something? Does it send me a watch? I don't know. But yeah, does it send me care? I don't know. But yeah, we've been slack with this vlog. I've actually recorded, I've actually like started recording like four or five times during February, like at least once a week, and then either forgot about it um, because other things felt more pressing, um, or I just sacked it off because other things, basically that was it, because other things felt more pressing. And uh, yeah, so all I can do is apologize. I am a failure and I am a pussy ass bitch. Because I said I'd do a hundred vlog days in a row, apart from Florence's birthday and Christmas day and Penny's birthday. And I haven't missed three days, I've missed about 30. So yeah, absolute pathetic son of a bitch. And uh, I do fucking treat myself accordingly to stuff like this because I, I have got the phrase in my head ringing about how you do one thing is how you do everything. So yeah, being inconsistent with this has really pissed me off, you best believe it, so. Don't just think I'm just thinking, ah, ha, ha, don't care. Uh, definitely pissed off by it. But yeah, um, the excuse was that I am basically the busiest with coaching I've ever been in my entire life. I'm back doing consultation calls with clients who sign up and they're lasting about an hour at a time. I'll prep for them as well, it's like half an hour. And because I've had so much inquiry in February, like we've basically just fully booked now, it has just been fucking manic. And uh, yeah, it was like, one of my big things this year was to stop working at around 8 p.m. Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of nights where I'm not doing that as well, um, which is very frustrating because I, I hate not hitting targets. But yeah, if I was to do the YouTube vlog as well, and for some reason my phone's been, well, my phone's been mega full because it's just full of stuff because I'm always doing content and that uh, on Instagram and things like this and with clients. So yeah, basically, it'd come around to doing it on a night, I'd go to upload it, and I'd get like a barrier in place, such as like, oh, it's not letting me upload it, or it's not letting me put it onto the, the app I used to edit it. And I'd just be like, yeah, fuck this, I'm not doing it. But it's the same thing, this is like exactly what people are like with the fat loss goals. It's like, they really want to get something done, and they'll just let fucking stupid little barriers like that stop them. Uh, so me not uploading this video because of time, or me not uploading these videos because of, you know, other things it's obviously because i just haven't prioritized it and to be fair like <coughs> my health my family <coughs> my coaching they are my priorities and let's face it this is an add-on to the coaching side of things it's an add-on to the you know giving you guys and you know people aren't necessarily coached by me or coached by me yet it's giving you guys an element and insight in how i do things and it's also something i enjoy so it is sort of, you could argue it's for my health and for my coaching but um yeah i basically just put the the sort of tasks ahead of this that i felt like give me more return on my investment um and i don't i don't mean financial i mean like um everything so what just give me more return now i am back doing it from today i'm gonna get consistent with it again um I'm, I'm not as busy with obviously because we're not take I'm not like actively trying to take on loads of people at the minute uh, I have got a bit more time to do these videos and upload them so coming back at you and I'm gonna upload this same day so if I ever miss one you'll know about it because I just won't upload that day uh, and that, you'll actually know that I haven't recorded that day either because I was doing it a few days in advance before so you wouldn't actually know but now it's like I am uploading this exact video today it's Friday let's get it banged on tonight but yeah just about to Basically, I don't do check-ins on a Friday, no formal check-ins. I've got one person, I actually just reminded, I did need to check them in because they checked in late. Uh, that's on me again. Um, but yeah, today, shoulders and arms day, or shoulders and triceps, should I say. I'm gonna go to the gym, do that. Um, I've got a meet up at the back end of March with the uh, like the, the mentorship program that's helping me on the, the business side of the coaching stuff. Um, and they do a workout on the Monday, uh, this like massive meet up thing. I don't do like crossfit -y. as you know, like my stuff's more like physique development. I don't really do crossfit -y sort of uh, high rock style workouts, but they're probably gonna always do something like that on the Monday. And I've not run since like lockdown when I had to do a 5K challenge. And before that, I ran since 2017 when I played rugby league. So 
yeah, we're gonna um, probably gonna do some fucking burpees and some uh, instead of doing twenty minutes of just like steady cardio after the gym today, I'm probably gonna do like ten minutes of like interval based stuff with the road machine and uh, some fucking burpees or some shit. So yeah, before you start tagging CrossFit, get fucked because I'm not a CrossFitter. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go train shoulders and triceps. I'm gonna document a little bit of that and give you guys a bit more of an insight of how things are going. By the way, I'm gaining right now. Oh, it's in hand. I need to bounce because I'm on a tight schedule training. Uh, do me fucking do me CrossFit. <laughs> Fuck sake. Do me uh, interval based stuff, and then I'm meeting Ethan Sam, who's another Huddersfield based coach, an online coach and PT. Meeting him after uh, in a local village for a coffee because I've not seen him in a while. So have a good shout out. But yeah, that's where we're at. I'll see you in a bit. Let's get it. Uh, push well push uh, shoulder dominant push there complete and I am staying true to the vlogging style so we're just in slow it now um, I'm gonna be doing my fucking peas and that back at the house after I've met Ethan um, so that'll be first workout meal will be like an hour and a half after I've trained which is not usually what I do I'd like to have a bit sooner but it's not gonna be a massive deal um, I've got more than enough uh, calories and protein going in on a daily basis to tick the recovery box and I've had a central amino acid in my training shake so yeah very minor but you just notice these, notice these things if it's out of your routine a little bit but yeah I'm gonna go meet Ethan now get back home do some craziness and uh, I might record that as well I might not see you in a bit right so 
Just got home. As you can see, there's plenty of clothes folded up on the side. Penny will hate me for this. Um, yeah, it's not looking too messy. It's just realities of what our house is like when we haven't put clothes away yet. Uh, but yeah, just got back home. About to bust out some intervals. I'm going to do 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest. I'm going to do 10 rounds. That's going to be my cardio today. Usually I do... Um, Basically, I do 300 calories on the Apple Watch. Reason being, um, it would be like 20 to 30 minutes um, on the Stairmaster or something like the gym. When I do cardio at home, it's difficult to get the heart rate up on the bike. I'm in a gaining phase, which needs to tick some off every day to keep appetite good and things like that and fitness levels at a decent level. Um, but when I, if I don't actively try and like really fucking give it some on the bike, I can end up being up on it for like 40, 40 odd minutes, um, which is fine sometimes. So, Instead of having like a time zone, I usually just do 300 calories. Now, because usually hardish cardio at the gym, uh, 20 minutes. Well, hardish, I mean, not so hard, like medium, be about 20 minutes. Um, so I'm going to do hard for 10 minutes intervals. So this is often what I'll do with clients as well when they're short on time. I'm doing this because obviously I need to get somewhat fit. Um, I'm just going to do it about three times a week, no longer. If you start doing intervals like all the time, it can have a detrimental impact on your waist performance. So yeah, going to get some fucking tunes on, going to get stuck in. Um, and I might just fucking record part of the first interval and maybe the last bit of the last one. I'm not going to make you watch me for 10 minutes. Let's get it. I'm just going to do some up downs, by the way. It's like a bear pee without the jump. Right, interval's done. 10 lots of 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So you're kind of hard, you know. Took me back to playing rugby days, did that. Um, but good to get stuck in. So now I'm going to have a shower, post workout meal, get some work done, pick Florence up from nursery, and then it is navigating daddy daughter day while still technically working. Penny's doing, obviously, she's the flower queen. So she's making loads of flowers up for people that have ordered the Mother's Day stuff. So it's up for me to uh, Take the reins with daddy daughter stuff. I've literally finished like five minutes ago. Listen to how out of breath I am. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you ever do this instead of your regular cardio, don't worry about matching uh, calories burned exactly because there is a bit of a... Th this just requires more from you. So you will actually continue to... Similar to how you do weights, it just... You will continue to burn calories the days afterwards. Um, and it's just more efficient in that way. But it is more stressful. So don't do it all the time because otherwise it'll take away from your weight sessions. But yeah, if you can do 20 minutes normal cardio half the time and just do intervals, you'd be sweet. General rule of thumb. Right, guys, I'll catch you in a bit. Fucking Harry Mary. I won't record any more of the house. That is today's vlog. I am back. I'll see you tomorrow. Might not be that much to say tomorrow, but I'll see you tomorrow.